damn it, boy. I'm AKA Bands, and this is Support This TV. Now, as long as there is a thing called record labels, they're always going to have unhappy artists. Now, not everybody who signed the record labels are unhappy, but there are always a few instances where an artist signs a deal and they seem like it's a great idea, and then they become disgruntled and they become unhappy. Sometimes it's over money, sometimes over the fact that their project has not been released. Sometimes it's over the fact of a number of things. But Lil Uzi Vert is no different. Lil Uzi has talked about his label several times. And if you don't know, he signed the DJ Drummer and Don Cannon at Generation Now. You know, DJ Drummer, Don Cannon, they been grinding for years to mixtape, singing and stuff. So if you don't know who DJ Drummer and Don Cannon is, check him out. But anyway... Uzi Vert, Philadelphia rapper, unhappy with his label. And usually when he's unhappy, he go to Twitter and he tell his fans. And then once he tell his fans on Twitter, he usually deletes it. I don't know if he deletes it because he have a change of heart or because he feel like maybe there's not a good look. I don't know. But this is what he put. He said, can I honestly tell y'all why this album ain't dropped? And um, Al Me was talking about his love is rage too. So he telling his fans why I haven't dropped. And his reason is because it's because of an old person who doesn't understand what's going on right now. Can you guess who? So you know everybody they gonna run around and his fans they're gonna say, Oh man, DJ drama, DJ drama, DJ drama, DJ drama. Because you know he don't say stuff about DJ drama in the past. And it's funny to me when he say old person, because he's a drummer, he got age on him being that old. But compared to Lil Uzi, he is old. So it's funny when I read that. So his fans, you know, they say DJ Drummer. And I looked at it, and yeah, you know, nobody said Dun Cannon at all. Everybody said DJ Drummer. So me personally, it's funny because I knew as soon as Uzi put this up, he was going to delete it. Like I said, because maybe he have a change of heart, or maybe because he feel like once it's out there, it's out there. I I, I don't realize I don't understand why artists all deleting stuff, because once we see it, is we see it. You can delete it all you want. It's always gonna be there, you know. But like I said, nobody said done can. And then you know he come in it with that be the X and the X two, whatever that mean. And, you know, he had a fan said, Lil Uzi Vert, I hate when you delete tweets. <laughs> because people know that's what he do. He going to go on there, he going to vent, then he going to delete his tweets. We got to hold in consideration that Lil Uzi Vert is young, and he is emotional, and he's passionate about his music. He ready for Love is Rage 2 to come out. He ready for it to drop, so he letting his fans know, hey, it's not up to me. I'm not the one that's holding it back. It's because of this old person that's holding my album back because he don't understand the business right now. He don't understand the wave right now. He don't understand the movement right now. And like I said, he never said who he was talking about. He didn't say DJ Drama. He didn't say Dunn Cannon. You know, all his fans guess DJ Drama, you know. Could be somebody else in the mix that we don't know about. I don't know. But let's hope Lil Uzi and Generation now can work out through their differences so Lil Uzi won't have to keep resorting to Twitter to uh, let the world know that there are internal problems going on with the label but you know when Love is Rage 2 drop I'm pretty sure his fans will enjoy it so me personally I couldn't be a CEO because if I was a CEO I've been on put my hands on one of my artists you tweet what you better take that shit down to get your neck broke <laughs> but I'm aka bands man make sure you like share and subscribe I'm out